We want to be more competitive each dual meet, um, building on our dual meet success and also building just being more um, overall competitive in the conference. Uh, we'd like to place guys at every one of the tournaments we go to this year. I think it's very doable. Um, and we, we got to send guys to the NCAAs and we got to send more than one or two. We're hoping to get more than, uh, you know, a couple guys to the NCAA tournament. Um, and ultimately that's, that, that's the goal. But overall, we just want to perform well, perform at our highest ability um, and build on every competition. Some of the key returners, the big one would probably be Antonio Pelosi coming back off a redshirt year. It was an NCAA qualifier two years ago. So having him anchor in our lineup um, uh, coming back off a redshirt is going to be huge. Uh, but we got a solid group of guys. Eddie Garcia starting us off at 125 again. Um, but I think the three key guys that were out last year for, due to um, season ending injuries are Brett Culp, um, Cole Aaron, and Steven Marcadante. Um, all are returning, but um, they didn't really get a lot of match time just because of injury situations. So seeing them back in the lineup, along with the, all the guys that are returning um, and our upperclassmen, we should have a good balance between um, upperclassmen and underclassmen in the lineup. I think we've got a really great uh, freshman class this year. The, the big difference, I think, with our freshmen coming in overall is uh, just a good attitude, good mental toughness. They're, they're a very scrappy young group of guys. Um, you know, I, I can't really point to one that's standing out more than the others. They're all kind of wrestling and, and challenging. They're going to be challenging for time and, and, and the spot. Um, but ultimately, it's they're going to get a lot of open competition, too. So um, the only thing they're really lacking is college experience. Um, once they start getting that under their belt and kind of um, building some of their college um, mat time, it's going to be really interesting to see where that talent takes them. The first one is opening up with a dual meet. We haven't really done that in the past, open up with Hofstra and with a conference team nonetheless. So there's some key matches up in that, in that lineup. At heavyweight's going to be a key matchup. They have a really tough heavyweight. A couple other guys in their, weight, in their lineup that are going to be key factors going down the road. Um, uh, the Florida duels is going to be really interesting. The first time they ever have it, the first time we've, we're participating in that. So that's going to be something new. Um, along with our tournaments, a big, big push right now. We haven't anyone win our, our own tournament. Uh, we want to get guys placed and in the FNM Open. And, but the FNM Open is becoming more and more competitive. We're looking at having over 400 guys um, from, from Division One to Division Three and anywhere in between. So um, every one of our competitions we have on, on the schedule is going to be important. We have a lot of conference teams on our schedule and dual meets, and we're going to see a lot of those guys in our, our um, tournaments that we're going to go to. So we're going to know real, real quick where we stand within the conference, which ultimately is how you get to the NCAA tournament. So uh, more, more conference teams we put on our schedule, I think, than we ever had in the past, uh, just because we need to see those guys head to head to kind of know what we need to do to get through the, that, that field of competition into the NCAA tournament. I think we're going to be more balanced uh, from top to bottom. Uh, and we're just looking for that one or two guys to step up and kind of take uh, that, that commanding role. Um, I think Emmett Lacastri is one of those guys that are up and coming. He had a great season last year, along with Antonio Pelusi and um, some of the leadership with Edgar Garcia. I think what you're going to see out of our program this year is a, is a high, um, highly aggressive style of wrestling. And ultimately, that's what we want to do. Uh, win or lose, I want our guys to be aggressive and trying to score points and not worry about um, hanging on for a win or trying to um, you know, just get through a loss. So uh, our mindset, our mentality, hopefully is gonna be at a different level than it has in the past. So that's what we're looking for this season and that's ultimately our goal.